hello guys uh, welcome to my channel so when uh, previous video we stopped here so we are able to pick all the three weapons so uh, we should uh, get our uh, sniper holstered okay so in this video we will see about uh, handling the melee weapon and uh, earlier we had just one base uh, one one melee weapon so we'll add one more uh, to show a difference and uh, we'll be able to drop one 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 weapon and pick another one so we'll handle all those in this video so we have uh, mali axe one uh, i'll create one more And I'll assign a different weapon here. Okay, similarly on the weapon we have to create one more uh, one more actor here okay so similarly assign the mesh here So let this be like this, we'll adjust it once we uh, put this on the character. Okay. So now we are picking this axe. We are not able to pick that, so we will handle that now. Go to the player character and open the spawn molly weapon function. So we have things like this here. So here we don't have anything connected to the molly circuit. So if the player uh, is having um, uh, is in the molly state, uh, we are not doing anything there. So we have to correct that. And we'll make some changes uh, so that uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, we had uh, earlier, uh, also sorry, whatever we created, the new ones uh, can be used here. So we'll I'll remove all these things. And since we have already handled the holster and uh, equip on the on the separate function, I'll call that holster and equip, and I'll call holster here. Okay, and then to uh, a batch. It has Mali weapon. True. If it is true, then we will call the drop weapon. Uh, of course, we haven't. Uh, uh, coded for the molly circuit here so that we will add it uh, but let's continue further so it has to drop the weapon and then okay set the child actor class then most of the things should be the same So we don't need this molly equipped because we are handling everything via state now so i can remove this uh, 
I'm just comparing it to my uh, original project to see whether I am making any changes or not. Okay. So uh, here, uh, one thing we have to do is on the uh, weapon HUD. Uh, now it's not appearing. The weapon HUD is not appearing, but uh, the, the old, older weapon weapon HUD has a holster weapon also. But since we are handling three guns now, I don't think we require uh, that uh, holster weapon. So we have to uh, uh, update our uh, uh, Mali weapons icon on that hut. So that we will do. But for now, I'll update what we need to do in the holster when uh, we have a Mali circuit. And uh, so those things will complete, complete now. From Mali circuit, attach actors to component. Get Mali pen child actors connected to target. Let the parent is the mesh. And the socket is your uh, uh, Mali weapon socket that you have on your character, uh, on your skeleton. So this is the one. So this, it will do to holster uh, Mali socket. And rest all is the same, connected to the, uh, uh, if we have to change to overlay state as default, then the player, player state has to be set. And since we have holstering a Mali weapon, then it will, uh, you know, uh, change to the cross. And to equip Mali weapon, uh, it's almost the same code. Copy this. Here, uh, instead of this socket, we'll, we have to put the multi weapon hand socket. And uh, once this is done, we have to set the overlay state. Soul state hacks. Okay, so this function is fine. Now let's uh, open the drop weapon. So here we have to drop the Mali uh, 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 weapon. So we need to create a variable here. And this should be of Mali weapon base. And uh, we have to declare uh, this variable and uh, uh, set it uh, on when, when we spawn the weapon. Weapon. Okay. 
get actor of class here we have to set this set this variable so earlier we didn't do because we just had uh, one mali weapon type so when we want to drop it we need to we should be able to access this variable so the reason I'm uh, giving option for uh, multiple uh, Mali weapon uh, objects is uh, something like blaze gone when, when you hit uh, your zombies with this Mali weapon the, the, the weapons strength has to go down in percentage and uh, once it's uh, below 10% uh, uh, age or uh, something you shouldn't be able to use that weapon so that's the reason I'm, I'm uh, we are uh, using this multiple uh, uh, object options so to drop it <coughs> again it's the same uh, we have to sp spawn actor from class okay we have it set the mali pick uh, actors on our uh, on our blueprint so open open both of your base Okay, on your ma Mali weapon base, uh, add a variable here and, pick. and give the class reference here. And uh, in, in each of the weapon, select the appropriate pick basis. Okay, we are good. Now, uh, your player character will be able to access this. Pick. Give it to the class. Okay, so this should be fine. Let's try now. Okay, we are building it. Okay, uh, we are uh, dropping this thing, but I think the weapon is not coming to the hand here. But an R only state is acts only. So let's see what's the thing. I think we didn't assign the to, to which character it's linked. So go to your uh, weapon buys and open your second weapon here. Okay, we didn't assign here. Okay, now we are having it in hand. Uh, we have to adjust uh, the uh, weapons position.
enter okay, it's dropping fine now uh, let's see if we are able to pick the weapon okay it's getting holstered also fine okay so holstering us is also fine we just need to uh, move the sockets a bit uh, on on the skeleton to make it look better but for now the functionality it's good so we are able to uh, uh, holster uh, two guns have one gun in hand and also we can holster the melee weapon also so this looks good okay i'll close this video for now uh, next video uh, we will see about uh, you know, uh, uh, we will we'll adjust the HUD to make it uh, show all these weapons. Thanks for watching. Bye.